Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoy the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much. Today I'm going to be planning in my classic No Drama Llama Happy Planner. It is this one right here. And I've already pulled the pages out because that's how, how I like to plan. And just in case you've never seen this layout before, it is the monthly dashboard layout. And it has the regular monthly view. And then instead of weekly pages, it has like this monthly overview page. And then there are several pages of daily to-dos, as you can see. And I think there's exactly like 31 of those spots. And then you have some notes pages back here. And then you're currently page for the next month. So... This one has been a little bit of a challenge to decorate just because of the colors. This is not my favorite theme. In fact, this is my least favorite theme in this planner, this splatter paint. And it kind of really doesn't match what we're going to be doing today. So I'm just going to try to ignore it. But the stickers that I went with today for this one are out of the color story. And I've already pulled most of them, but it's the... The section that's the free spirit, I'll show you what's left, because I wanted to pre-plan a little bit, because since this one is so many pages and takes such a long time, but I pulled some from here, <laughs> from here, there, a couple of those, and some of those. So there's probably enough left to do another weekly spread, but, or two, um, but I love using the new color story books for this layout because you get a whole bunch of stickers of different sizes. You're not just getting all box stickers and functional stickers. You get a little bit of everything and they're a mix of a whole bunch of different themes that you may not have purchased. Using these stickers today, I have decided that I want to go and get the free spirit um, sticker books because I love these stickers y'all. I had fun putting this together and I hope you guys have fun watching it. This sticker right here, I don't know if you can, if it comes across, it almost like it's soft. <laughs> it's weird and it's got like little speckles of, of glitter. I love it. Absolutely love it. love it and that's why I want it to be straight. Okay. And we got this pretty unicorn sticker for the bottom. And it's the same way. It's got like this soft like velvety feel and look to it. I don't know how they accomplish that on paper and stickers, but way to go happy planner. And then I'm going to put some stars here. more stars and then in the middle I'm just going to put a little top three box this one sticker I pulled from the Boss Babe sticker book I did pull a couple of stickers here and there and from different books and I'll let you know which one and this one came from um gold star quotes. This one right here. Just kind of going through looking through looking for all the silver stickers. <laughs> okay, and then got some more stars. And this is, I pre-plan on wax paper for those of you that are wondering. I like it because you can just lay it on top of the page. And I usually put it down with a, with a little piece of um, washi tape to kind of hold it in place. Oh, I, 
I love these stickers. can find those books that these were in. Okay, and then over here on this side, I put this pretty sticker right here. I don't think it's quite I'm just going to center it. Wow, I did pretty good eyeballing that one. Put some stars here. Halloween. And then this sticker also came out of gold star quotes. I hope it looks okay. It's kind of a clearish black sticker. I think that, yeah, that looks good. And then... More stars. Okay. And then I have some of these. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to be a magical weekend or not, right here coming up on October 12th, but. We'll hope, we'll just kind of, we'll hope so. <laughs> it's got to be because I put the sticker there, right? And this view, um, I've been kind of playing around with, with different things in my planner, seeing, just trying to find, um, I don't know, a process that I'm happy with, I guess. But, um, in September, what I used this view for was I just kind of wrote down a little bit about um, my day as far as like office work and stuff like that went. And I mean, it kind of got a little bit boring. So I think this month I'm actually going to use this view to um, like sort of like I'm going to do a couple of challenges and I need to look up those hashtags because I don't remember off the top of my head, but I will put it down in description. One of them is, I think it's Color Me October or something like that. But I'll put it down there and I'm going to do that one. And then I'm also going to do, wow, those do have glitter on them. I've got glitter on my fingers. It does. It's got like a shimmery on it. How funny. Okay, anyway, <laughs> and then I'm also going to do Mermaid's Logic handwrite, handwriting challenge. Because I need y'all, I need to work on my writing. I want to get my brush lettering going good. Okay, now where do I want to put this one? Just trying to kind of sprinkle these out. I always forget to use these square ones. But anyway, that's what I'm going to use this calendar for. It's kind of a pre plan for social media and then to <clears throat> put like any challenges that I decide to do and. Stuff like that. Oh, it kind of looks odd. I'm just going to put something there in case I need to write. Okay, I like that better. Okay. And that's it. Simple, still plenty of room to write, but lots of pretty stars and shimmery glitter stuff. I'm going to have this all over me. It looks like almost like I've been using silver spray paint. <laughs> That's how they got that that look. <laughs> okay. All right. On to the next page. And I actually might work on these together cuz one hundred percent sure where I was going to put everything. Okay, this came out. Uh, this is one of the journaling stickers from the Free Spirit set. It's another reason why I wanted to use these because I hadn't got to use these journaling stickers yet. 
We're going to put this one down here. And this is like my office slash business kind of planner. It's everything is kind of leaning more and more towards social media, so okay. I always like to layer boxes up here. have to put it like straight to me. And that way there's still plenty of room for me to write in my monthly goals, but never stop making wishes. I like that. And then I'm going to put the pretty unicorn right here. I'm going to open that up in case it overlaps. And it did a little bit, and that's okay. That's okay. All right. And I had some of these stars. I'm not sure. I may use them in a different area. I'm going to put this long box over here. Say so we're just going to ignore the splatter paint like it's not there. Try to cover it up as much as I can. I don't know why. I think it's that orange color that kind of just throws it off for me. Okay. Just so you can see some of the stickers that pull the money to put. The moon over here. Oh, that's pretty. I love these stickers. Sorry for all the crinkling. And this says wishes and dreams. And then this says she dreams of the ocean at night. I think I'm just going to... Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. That's good, I think. All right. Now, where do I want to put these other stars? Oh, it's not going to fit there. I don't need like that whole long list. I'm not even 100% sure what I'm going to put there. Here, though, inside this little box is going to be a list of daily to-dos. Just things that I sometimes even forget to do, like check in my email or, you know, just little things like that. So I want to make a list, and then that's going to be one of my habit trackers for this month. 
but I was gonna let's see a little stapler and put on here. Because it's office stuff. <laughs> you know, little email, because that's kind of one of the first things I do. And, okay. Little clipboard here. I'm going to put it. Oh, my eye itch is fine. Kind of put it right. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's decide where to put some of these, these stars. Okay, I want to put some let's see. I'm just gonna lay them over the top there. Excuse me. I get to talking and have to stop and clear my throat. And then these. Can put over here. really not very many stars on there. Okay. And got this to put over here for monthly goals, but it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut the end off right here. A little bit too long. Trim a little bit off the top. The center section for this page that says check it off, those are going to be my weekly to do's. And then on this side, I usually just kind of like I might write. Um, you know, just things I wanted to pay attention to this month. And then over here, I kind of use this just for brainstorming. I may have an idea that I want to work on for next month. And so I'll write it down there so I can see it every day when I open this up. And then usually I have just a general to-do list over here. So I was going to set like one area up for now and one for later. So I'm going to put the later over here. felt like it had that stuff on it too. <laughs> and then I'll put the now right here. And this will be my now list. And this just says remember. Something we should remember. Never stop making wishes. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, where do I want to put 
this. I just think those are pretty. That's out of the Boss Babe, in case you're wondering. And then this was one of the little planner stickers out of Gold Star Quotes. And I'm going to put it over here. Okay. Now I got a bunch of the little diamonds. that were on the sticker page with the stars. And I was just going to kind of sprinkle them throughout. Just to add a little bit of shiny. <laughs> Put a single one down here. Really see that one, can you? Move into a better spot. Mm. <laughs> yeah, not there. Okay. And that's it. We used all the stickers. Okay. I'm very happy with this, how this turned out, and I think I'm going to really enjoy this spread all month long. Um, now, just to let you know, what I was using the daily to-dos for, and again, this is something I've been experimenting with, I was using them kind of like as a daily filming checklist, but I found another way that I wanted to do that, so I think I'm going to use these as like to help me plan out my weekly spreads and things like that, like which ones I'm going to film and which ones I'm not and, you know, what I'm going to, what theme I'm going to go with and things like that. Because I kind of want to start planning things out a few weeks in advance. So, because I'd like to get to where <clears throat> I've got all of my films ready to go for like, when I wake up in the morning, I'm not having to like edit and do this and do this to get the film ready to to post, I can just, you know, post it and be done, have everything done ahead of time. But that takes a lot of advanced planning. <laughs> so I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm continuously trying to improve the channel. And I played around with my camera a little bit today. And I want to use my phone, but I don't have a mount that's good. It's like that will hold my phone. The mount that I'm using now the phone was too heavy for it. So I've got to find a different way of doing things. I'm going to go on Amazon and see about getting a better camera mount. That way we can get the video quality up there a little bit, a um, little bit better than it is right now. So we're working on that. And coming up next week, we're going to have lots of flip throughs. I'm going to do an after the pen flip through of September. And then um, I'm going to do a flip through of October to show you everything set up and all together in my franking planner and how I use it. And I'm probably going to have most of the pen done like of this stuff. So you'll get to see a little bit of that and a little bit better how I use these pages. So stay tuned to that for that. And, you know, if you want to be notified, make sure and hit the notification bell. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or DM me if you want to keep it private. I love hearing from all of you and I always try to respond within 24 hours. And you can also find me on Instagram and Pinterest. The link is below in the description or on my channel page. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. That's all I have for today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.